Oh. Okay. Um. Well, this is just great. Hello, everyone. Welcome to John Nevin's Fishing Adventures. I'm Evan Beal, as usual. It has been a while since I've been making a video. Um, but nonetheless, I am back. Um, I mean... I did try to post some videos, or at least try to film some videos during the time that I've been gone, but just to be frank, it was quite boring, and did you guys really want to see us pack a box truck like three times and truck it across the United States and then, you know, unpack it? I mean, that's just the most boring thing on planet Earth. So, this is the conclusion, our garage now, uh, in our new home. Uh, Basically, the reason why this has happened is because we are actually kind of remodeling the home a little bit, like taking down wallpaper, painting a bit, you know, maybe putting in some flooring, I don't know. So, all our, a lot of furniture is just kind of, you know, like this. But, you can see some really important things. That, and that, and of course this camera. We're going to... Anyway, so, uh, basically, we've been doing a few little remodeling things. We've been trucking, like, three trucks back and forth across the country, uh, you know, getting our stuff to this house, and so we're just pooped, so we're going to try to take an evening fishing trip to a local pond and creek system, trail system, that is, like, mm, 10 minutes away from us, which is awesome. Um, we tried to actually do this, like... I don't know, a week ago, and this happened. Hello everyone, welcome to John Nevin's Fishing Adventures. I'm Evan B. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back. So, yeah, we didn't really want to get electrocuted that day, so uh, we kind of just, you know, walked out. We got to see some nature, I guess. But today we're going to be taking a remodeling break and actually do an evening's fishing session. Um, our plan is to just catch some fish at this point. I would like to catch some new species. The place we are going has chain pickerel, which I've never caught. I'm not saying the scientific name. <laughs> um, the creek has brook trout, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get to the creek today. That might come for a longer expedition. Um, I know there's rainbow trout, which I already have. Uh, bass, you know, panfish. There are some cool micros, supposedly. But, mm, um, I don't know if we're going to get around to those today either. But we shall see. Um, so I'm really excited for today's adventure. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great little hike and fish. Maybe a few geocaches. I don't know. So uh, stay tuned and let's just get ready to go. So... We're actually doing this, people. No more lightning. We just did that. Okay. We are at the lake pond thing. As you can see, trout stocked, stocked trout waters. So we are heading in. Um, so this is a pretty popular little area. So you can see there's some people behind us coming down. But this is a large, pretty clear lake with a pond coming off it that, you know, made the lake of it at one point. As far as species go, it's got chain pickerel, largemouth bat. Anywho, I might pull out this camera a little bit, but otherwise I'm going to now switch to the GoPro. Anyway, let's get fishing. Please, no. Don't get more rocks, please. Sheesh. No respect. This wind is also getting in the way, too. Huh? This wind is also getting in the way, too. Oh, look at that cast. Oh, what is this? I got something. I got a fish, dude. Oh, no. Get out of the... There we go. Ah, it looks like a little bluegill. I think. First fish! First fish of Virginia. Congratulations. <laughs> There's fish in this thing. Okay. First little fish, a bluegill. Pretty feisty little guy. I'm going to release him now, but first I'm going to take a picture. So. Oh, 
Okay, and goodbye. This is just gorgeous water. Water fireworks. Seriously. That's a bad idea. Oh look, another salamander. I'm telling you, there are tons of those little things here. Looks pretty tiny. Let's see what it looks like up here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was a pickerel. Dang it. Pickerel. Oh my gosh, so they're out here. So whatever it was, he was not interested in my lure. So they are along these these lilies stalking fish. It looks like hmm. If you guys can see this, if you guys see that black thing out there, this is going to be very blurry because it's handheld. But as you can see, there's some sort of little maybe like a muskrat or a beaver. You can see what looks to be like a beaver lodge almost. So that could be a beaver. It's like the second beaver I've seen in a while, uh, in a very recent span of time. It's pretty cool. Getting eaten alive by bugs, but so far nothing really interesting. I've only caught one fish, and that was just that bluegill. My dad hasn't caught anything today, but remember, I could have probably caught a mess of bluegill today if I were throwing something different. But our goal right now is not to catch a bluegill. I've already caught a bluegill from this place, and... I've caught millions of bluegill in the past, so our goal is to catch a chain pickerel. So uh, that's what we're going for. So I hope it happens. It's, it's kind of getting late, so we'll see. Oh my gosh. Dude, 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 dad, 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 big bass, big bass, big bass. I would throw a larger, sw like a swim bait with a head on it, like what dad's throwing, but I'm afraid that would be too heavy for this. I'm pushing it. Dad! Okay guys, I the GoPro just died. I think it's, yeah, it just died. Um, but we just found a big chain pickerel. It's right over there. There's a little, you can see the opening in the concrete. There's an opening in the lilies that's matching it. And there's a big one just sitting right there. But we gotta catch it. We're running out of daylight. What time is it? It's 8.16, we got 50, we got 14 minutes before we have to get out here. We only got like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set up the camera and we gotta just try to hit this thing. Let's go for it, okay? Um, this is gonna be a third person shot. I'm not gonna waste time setting up the GoPro. So it's gonna be a third person shot on the cannon. So let's, let's see what happens. My heart is racing right now. Okay, there we go.
Battery lights flashing. Battery lights flashing? Yeah. Well, guys, if this is still recording, we messed up. He might still be here, but he's most likely spooked. I saw him spook. That's been two sightings of a chain pickerel here, and this is our first time fishing here. That is a very, very, very good sign. Uh, it shows that they're very plentiful here, much more plentiful than I thought. So it's going to just take a matter of grinding and grinding and grinding here, just like day after day after day to get one of these things. I'm thinking maybe try live bait. I'm thinking try some more jerk baits. I'm also thinking more swim baits. I think some sort of small soft swim bait might be more natural than like some sort of hard lure. So I'm thinking that too and live bait. Catching some micro fish and live lining them under a small float. I think that might also work too. But maybe also doing a bit more research on chain pickerel, looking at the fish brain statistics, seeing what they've been caught on and so forth. But uh, since this thing's about to die, like literally about to die in like a few seconds probably. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was kind of a boring video, but it was an exciting one for me. We probably need to get out of here just because it's getting, what time is it? It is 8.27. It's, almost, it's probably like nine minutes till sundown. So we need to get out of here before the park closes because it closes at sundown. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing a lot more lifeless fishing. We might not um, I don't know if we're going to come back here for a second time the next time, but we shall see. Anyway, guys, tie lines, and of course, this is Evan and John, signing out.